Oh, hey there. I didn't see you come in. Well, hello. My name is Joshua Rujnak, and I am from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm sure we've met through our coursework, and if not, well, it's nice to meet you. Uh, so what do I like about the field of conservation biology? I don't really think about it too much. I haven't had too much exposure to that through my coursework, but you know, taking care of our ecosystems and conserving them is uh, certainly an important thing to do. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so what interests me in this course? Well, as you can see, I've done a fair bit of work in the in some microbiology labs. I work with Dr. Teague and such on some of my research and I'm always excited to be able to put uh, new tools into the toolbox which uh, I see we'll be getting from working in the lab. So that's pretty exciting. Um, is there anything I want to do in this course? Again, like if there's anything I can add to my molecular biology toolbox either theoretically or in practical applications in the lab I am always down for that, that sort of thing. So it should be a pretty exciting look at the semester. You know, I'm really, I've done a lot of work with molecular cloning, so anything we could do to expand upon that would be fantastic. And a paper that I found, which you can see down in the link in the comments, is actually something called the Broad Spectrum CRISPR-Cas13A enables efficient genome phage genome editing which i find to be super interesting interesting i am super interested in anything related to bacteriophages and especially utilizing bacteriophages for the field of medicine uh, something particularly called phage therapy and in this paper um well if you don't know any background the CRISPR-Cas9, you know, I'm sure we've worked with it in any molecular biology course. Um, bacteriophages don't respond really well to it, and doing some simple editing like you would do with any other simple organism, like uh, say yeast or something, it's very hard to do with a bacteriophage. And the authors of this paper actually were able to successfully isolate some bacteriophages that they edited using not the CRISPR-Cas9, but this derivative Cas13A, which I think has a lot of applications in the future of uh, phage therapy and using bacteriophages in the medical world. So uh, definitely check out the paper in the comments and hit me with those questions. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you in class on Friday.